Test. Okay, that's all good. Let's start the stream. Hello, second channel. Let's get this up and running. Private, public. All right, that should be up. Let's get everything ready. Hope everyone's okay. Hope everyone enjoyed the recent video about Gal Gadot and Natalie Portman. Let's just hear if I'm actually sound like everything ready. Yep, sound fine. Let's just share this around quick. Only a quick stream today, so probably only an hour or so. We'll see. Live streaming now, just posting this on my Twitter and my Discord. So, all right, we are ready to go. Let's just refresh my chat. Get the chat up. All right. So I hope everyone's okay. Um, like I said, just to start, it's gonna be a shorter stream today. But I want to go over with like a lot of my frustrations with stuff that's been happening. Um, on like liberal YouTube, I guess, liberal leftist YouTube. I'm going to try and save most of it, like <laughs> when people actually like join. But yeah, it's been, it's been annoying. Like a lot of people who have very much a lot to say from, uh, about Black Lives Matter, rightly so, in the US, apparently have nothing to say, uh, about Israel and Palestine. Uh, and then I went back and watched some old Pac-Man, Pac-Man, Pac-Man videos, um, about his take on Israel. And he was saying, uh, Israel's not, he was saying, he was talking about Black Lives Matter condemning Israel. And he was like, um, they say Israel is racist to black people. Well, um, black people would rather live in Israel than Gaza. Not actually answering, answering the question that yes, Israel is racist to Ethiopian Jews that went to Israel during the airlift and stuff because of the famine. But yeah, we're going to talk about all this stuff. I've also, for t spoilers for tomorrow's video, I've been making my way, <laughs> I've been making my way through this. Um, so basically the video is going to be called uh, Jenk Yuga versus Sam Harris, like six and a half years on, um, like the event that created Dave Rubin or some shit like that. Because... Um, this was like quite, you know, a lot of you might be younger, so you might not remember this, seven years ago. So if you were, I was 19 nearly in 2014, October. Um, some of you may have been 12, some of you may have been even younger. I know a couple of people watch my channel like 15 or 14, which is pretty crazy to me. <laughs> but um, yeah, so... Basically, I'm going to go through that because this was like a bit of an event in YouTube history. Um, I've gone through about an hour and a half and I've already made like, let me have a look, like six pages of notes maybe. I'm looking at them now. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six pages of notes. I think I have enough for a video. I don't want to be talking for like, <laughs> this is a three hour long video. I've made it halfway through. I'm trying to get to the nuclear bomb thing with them and then I might end it there but um yeah like I was talking to my girlfriend about this before like Sam Harris is like fairly convincing when you don't know as much but when you actually learn stuff like um in my notes I've got stuff like he says the first crusade was a response to 300 years of Islamic jihad like totally wrong uh so gonna debunk that in the video so it has this like weird desert island thing saying like um saying like stuff about if you dropped you know if you had humans born in a desert island with no religion um what would they like 
what would they be like if you gave them each religion? You saw me like Islam versus Buddhism or something. Um, but yeah, David, there's a there's a couple of people. I'm not gonna call them out by name, but there's there's a Twitch streamer who said that eat the rich makes them uncomfortable because social it makes them think socialism is inherently violent. Uh, the people talking about that haven't actually said anything about Israel. They can't even bring themselves to like a tweet. There's also some um, fairly left-leaning streamers, like gaming streamers. Uh, I'm not going to call this person out because I don't want to call drama. They're way bigger than me, like way bigger than me. Uh, pretty famous in the games industry. But they have been liking loads of Hassan's tweets lately. Um, and they did loads of live streams for raising money for Black Lives Matter and stuff. Can't even bring themselves to like one tweet about what's going on in Palestine, despite liking multiple Hassan tweets. But Hassan is actually talking loads about this on his Twitter. So it's not like they're not seeing it. They're just choosing not to. And this person is fairly prominent on YouTube. They also have a, a job at a game studio. Um, so I'm guessing the reason they're not saying anything about the Palestinians is because they're worried about their job. Um, so... Uh, like Z Xander Hall is another one. Xander Hall is he like a liberal? Uh, just cause, just because I subscribed to him, to my knowledge, he hasn't said anything about Palestine. But he was talking about the Yuga stuff again uh, on Twitter, or I saw him like something on Twitter about the Yuga stuff. So it's just you know th these liberal people are just like I, I said I said it in my video about Israel. Like why does it have to be the people? Why does it first of all why does it have to be Black Americans, Asian Americans? And um, just like, you know, every type of like minority or marginalized group, why are they the only ones standing up for the Palestinians? Like what the fuck's wrong with white Americans? Um, and also when it comes to like liberal leftist streamers, why do all these people not talk about like any of this stuff, right? Uh, I'm gonna wait a couple more seconds, a couple more minutes. We're gonna get into it. We're gonna start with David Pakman's Twitter. I'm gonna, I've been watching some of his um, Israel takes uh, after I, I was thinking like he's well suspect on this stuff um, so someone saying um, okay he's going to debate a Zionist that's good the thing is people can say like oh like you've got other things to talk about and I get it because like, my video tomorrow is not on Israel it's not on um, Palestine or anything so I get it. You got to you got to make other content, especially if it's your job, which is totally fine. Um, when you don't even tweet about it, uh, like the minimum you can do is tweet about this stuff or retweet people. I am pretty suspicious about like your views on the conflict and stuff. David Pakman's a liberal. What so? What is David Pakman meant to be, then? Um. Oh, sorry, my. Listen to some music. I'm listening to some cyberpunk. <laughs> uh, not actual cyberpunk, like the game cyberpunk. <laughs> um, no, someone said Xander Hall's uh, or Xander Hall, whatever, is debating a Zionist. Um, so who's yeah? Who's saying David Pakman? isn't a liberal are we are we joking here um let me read some comments um patman liked yang's tweet as well pump action um the left is suspiciously silent yet a lot of them are the american left i wouldn't say anyone in the uk's left is silent really um Yeah, Val spoke a lot about this. I saw that. I'm not saying I didn't. I didn't include him, though. He's not liberal. Yeah, Pacman said what happened in Bolivia wasn't a coup. Yeah. <laughs> um, said that he's a Zionist. Okay. Debating Zionists is pointless. Um. He went after Ilhan Omar for the APAC thing. He went after he went after Black Lives Matter for endorsing BDS and for saying Israel is racist against black people, like uh, black Israelis. Uh, yeah, TYT is progressive, I'd say. 
and it's got a hit, but like people like Anna aren't like liberals and I guess John isn't either even though I guess he's quite like civil is that the word I don't really get the sense how, how radical he is um what did Patman do he just hasn't said or covered anything about Israel in the last weeks and he hasn't tweeted anything about it <sighs> um, like David Pakman is is a lib because he's an American. Like if if you are going out of your way to make a poli or be an apologist for U.S. foreign policy, you're a lib. If you're saying the stuff in Bolivia uh, against na against you know just generally native peoples who were targeted after the coup, you're a lib. If you're if you're saying that Black Lives Matter don't know what they're talking about because they're pro BDS and um, say Israel's race against black people, then you're a lib. If you're just generally, you know, for capitalism as well, you're a lib as well. Pacman isn't anti capitalism, is he? Yeah, Anna's also on the Jacobin. Yeah. Um, so there's a lib for me. A lib is someone who's pro capitalist. Um, pro state, pro broadly the status quo. Not in, in the sense, you know, they might be for marginalised groups, but they don't pursue economic policies that would actually help marginalised groups. Basically, you know, I guess other people who think like they're the sensible adults in the room. Um, every, you know, two sides, nuance. We got to, you know, um, well, Israel shouldn't have done that, but Hamas is just as bad, and the Palestinians are just as bad as the Israelis, and uh, that you know, people act like. The reaction by Hamas wasn't provoked. It's just Hamas being scary Muslims as usual. Do you think evangelicals will keep supporting Israel if they do nothing to summon? Yeah, the thing is, why evangelicals will keep supporting Israel until Israel have taken back biblical Israel? Which might not happen for like ages. So until they do that, they're going to keep supporting them. Yeah, the thing is, people are um, on a list saying, like, early Israel have a lot of... Yeah, Israel was founded by atheists and socialists and stuff. Not saying they actually practiced that, because they ethnically cleansed a lot of Palestinians and stuff. Uh, Bryce, thanks so much for the donation. Appreciate it. Uh, and he says, uh, he is... Yeah, I think he... Israel's actions are hideous. As a US Jew, I've been slow on this. I gave up on Israel because the left lost, and Meretz is tiny, is today's apartheid. That's really interesting. What what do um people you know think about this as well? Um, hatred. I I don't think it's really down to religion. To be honest, like I know it's easy to think in that in that way. I think it's more like an eth an ethnic thing now. So I'm um, just reading some more comments before I get into stuff. <laughs> the Pac-Man is one of those weirdos with good takes and bad takes like crazy. All right, so let's let's get into it. So here's my problem. I'm going to get going to my OBS quick just to see if you guys can see what I see. Okay, I'm going to make myself a bit smaller. All right, so David Pacman is a guy. So if he's, for you, those of you who don't know, David Pacman is a pretty big liberal YouTuber. Um, covers loads of events, politics, domestic politics, foreign politics... International relations, you name it, David Pakman has probably covered it in some part during his many years on YouTube. I used to follow him years ago and watched him occasionally. Um, you know, not the worst guy ever, but in typical like lib fashion, has some awful takes. So you'd think, right, um an opinion news channel with a million subs uh might have some sort of opinion on what's going on right now. Um you know, it doesn't have to be the most radical thing ever. You'd think there'd be something going on, though. So uh, go on his Twitter. So maybe this is just like a scheduled tweet. Someone who works for him just posted his video. Um, and then he's got you know, his subreddit there. Could just be someone who works for him. Again, he's got other links there. Um, but he's just posting his video links. Okay, that's, that's whatever. That's whatever. But then let's go to his actual tweets. So... Um, he does tweet sometimes, even though it's kind of like seeing 
it must be someone who works for him doing this at the moment because he was tweeting yesterday. Um, wait, he's deleted his tweets. <laughs> All right, this isn't good for my video. He's deleted his tweets. Um, he was talking about Biden. Um, unless I'm missing something, am I on the wrong page? Am I on? Does he have a personal Twitter account? Because I might be on the wrong thing. Because <laughs> I was like, okay, like this is. Oh, okay. I was on the wrong one. I was on the David Patman show Twitter account. Okay. So yeah, he does tweet. Um, so I don't know if he's tweeted in the last couple hours, but there seems to be not much on Palestine apart from he called Ben Shapiro out, kind of. So he's talking about um, this, talking about vaccinations, talking about Joe Biden's statement on it, um, talking about Trump being president, talking about the gasoline shortage, um, Liz Cheney, talking about some Ben Shapiro stuff. It's the only thing I can see that he said about it. Um, but there really hasn't been it. So he's just, he's just retweeting Ben Shapiro. And he says, is any, any of this true? So he says, is any of this true? It's the only thing he's tweeted about it during this you know, massive escalation, right? Uh, talking about Portugal, international stuff, loads more about US politics, talking about Dogecoin or Dogecoin or Dogcoin or whatever. See, look, so he's tweeting a lot. Um... Nothing. It's a it's a news channel. And you might say like it's Twitter, but then we're gonna get into it. So even even if we're being very stalkerish, uh he hasn't, from my mind, unless he's done it recently, been able to like anything about it. So here we go. Nothing. Nothing. One thing here. And that's about it. So, out of everything that's been going on the last, let's say, month or so, and especially the last couple of days, the only thing that is mentioned about is this. And this guy's takes on his round stuff is fine, but that's the only thing he's done, right? This is a guy with a massive platform who could use it to help educate his audience. So if we go to his YouTube channel, uh, I'm going to zoom in a bit. So he uploads like four videos a day and a one hour long one. Um, let's get it up. So, mm, doesn't seem like there's anything here. Mm, can't see anything. A day ago, six hours ago, interviewing different people, talking about Biden, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, seems like he hasn't mentioned anything about it, right? And... This is what gets me about this stuff. And it's not like this guy has stayed quiet about Israel forever. Type in David Patman Israel. David Patman's position on Israel. David's about the Palestinian conflict. Um, one I watched today, Black Lives Matter calls Israel genocide, apartheid, and everything. And he's just basically dunking on Black Lives Matter, uh, saying how wrong they are about this stuff. And I just wrote, you know, I'd like to see it. David... Your stance on Palestinians is consistently awful, as were your Bolivia takes, and si and your silence on Israel right now says a lot. You're like Dave Rubin for libs, <laughs> basically. Uh, so in this video, um, he says whatever, but he's saying basically Israel's not apartheid, it's not committing any of this, um, BDS is wrong, and these guys, Black Lives Matter, are wrong supporting it, and also Israel's not racist to black people, um, because black people, black Ethiopian Jews, have it better in Israel than they would in um, Gaza, uh, therefore Israel isn't racist and he's well pissed off about this I'm not really gonna play it for you but he's I don't play a bit it will tell you and number two to Lewis's point I've talked about BDS people say David why is BDS inherently anti-semitic well it's not BDS is not inherently anti-semitic I've said it many times but it has become a safe haven for many anti-semites and if BDS said, hey, we are a movement that seeks to use boycott and divestment to call for change in countries whose policies we don't like or are oppressive to groups of people or whatever, and we're going to apply that tactic everywhere that we see these problems, mm -hmm. that would be one thing. But no, that's not how BDS works. It's BDS, just Israel. BDS has said, we want change in Israel to the extent they believe is, is warranted, and we could debate that. What technique can we come up with to try to hurt Israel specifically? And I'm going to play it all for you. 
But he's a he's a very opinionated guy on Israeli politics until about, I don't know, the last week. Has many opinions. Now, we can speculate why he would do this. I'm going to read some comments now. Um, in the comments, live chat. No, it's top chat. I want live chat. Um... Sorry, I'm gonna have a look at some more comments. Yeah, we can speculate like, why he's doing this, but like he clearly like okay in the comments, why do you think someone like David Pakman wouldn't even have a liberal take about this stuff? Why would he not say anything, like literally nothing? He has well, not nothing about the Palestinians, nothing about the Israelis, not even supporting one side or the other, not even two sides in it like Israel, not Israel, like liberals often like to do, like. We call on the violence to stop, blah, 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 blah. Why is he not even doing that? Please please put it in the comments. I, I'm, I'm not as big a Pac-Man watcher as some other people might be. But I think it's very curious how, like, liberals cannot even bring themselves to say anything, some of them. Um, I'm going to read some more stuff. Um... Majority Report has been talking about it a lot. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Um, Emma's been tweeting about it loads. No, no, I'm saying I think the situation is too complicated for 99% of commentators, let alone the vast majority of regular people. Uh, yeah, that's fair enough for more liberals. But isn't, doesn't this guy like live and breathe politics? He has 1.3 million subscribers on a news politics show where he gives his opinion every day. Um, yeah, Bryce is saying what I, I, I think as well. David Patman is a very mild centre-left liberal social democrat. He can be a good anti-Trumpist, but he's extremely centrist and is ta tactically a pro-militarist because that's, he does what's acceptable. Yeah, that's what I was thinking today. The only thing people like this are good for is being anti-Trump. And that is the, the end of their use, anti-Trump. They point out what Trump does is bad, but they don't apply that same criticism to the Democrats. Like, you know... You have you have like one extreme like Jimmy Dore who who's like obs has like an obsession with people like AOC and the squad and stuff um, for not being perfect, and then you have someone like David Pakman who will not criticize like barely anyone even like Joe Biden and stuff. I mean he does, but like you know not not in like a sufficient way in my opinion. Damn, no content. Yeah, exactly. Unsub from David. The situation had me killed on the side. Yeah, people were agreeing with me yesterday when I said, like, this stuff just gives me bad anxiety, like, following it and watching it and everything. And and the fact that the fact that you can be a political commentator, this is literally his, his like, job that he does every single day, hours every day. It's not like, it's not like me who puts out, like, free... Three videos a week, and that does take like a long time to make. But like, he's talking. He has, I'm assuming, he has editors, right? He has people who run his Twitter page, or whatever. He's not like a one man show, and he can't bring himself to say anything about this. Not even just talk about the inhumanity. Even if you both sides, what's going on? Even if you just say, I am a, like, I'm against the violence in in general. It's you know, it's inhumane violence. It's disgusting what's happening. Cannot even bring himself to say that. And this is why th there's lots of liberals. Who, who are streamers and on Twitter and people saying, uh, and I made this point in my video yesterday, people saying too complex, too complicated, people don't know what they're talking about, but come on, you, 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 can you not follow a news story over the course of a week? Can you not see how Israeli aggression has prompted this reaction from Hamas, which Israel have then capitalised on to use disproportionate force on the Gaza Strip? Is that too hard for most people to understand? And, you know in your gut and your gut reaction who are the bad guys in this situation who is who is really like hurting people and you just go on twitter and you watch these videos and you see these pictures of you know dead people and, and dead children i saw one of a dead baby today which was awful um and you're just going to say nothing you you have 1.3 million subscribers uh you have 200k twitter followers and the best you can do is like one tweet from someone and that's it. This has been going on for like over a month and it's really ramped up over the last week and you can't say anything. He's the worst example. There's plenty of streamers 
streamers who have said that eat the rich makes them uncomfortable and socialism socialists are basically nazis for how violent they are um but you know when they see what's going on in israel right now they don't have much to say have a, have a massive meltdown and, and block and, and mute every single person who used to follow you because they're socialists, but don't have the effort to tweet anything about, about what's going on. <sighs> yeah, David Dole's good. He, uh, Mike, Mike at the Humanist Report is good as well. They've been covering this stuff a lot. Um, David Patman seems like Tim Paul. Maybe not that far, but... Um, that ratio, though. Yeah, it's pr pretty... Let's leave it this like. <laughs> um, so I'm going to read some more comments. Oh, thanks so much, King Cyrus. Uh, he defended the coup in the, in the Bolivia inside of the Israeli government. Yeah, I know. He's done both. The Bolivia stuff is, is pretty, pretty wild. Um, ben Riley, uh, he, uh, David's Jewish. Um, two bucks. Thank you so much. I mean... It's like Michael Brooks said, like, it's, you know, it's kind of irrelevant at, 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 at a point. Like, if, if you're a liberal, even if you're like, you're like Natalie Portman's a liberal Israeli and she calls them racist, you know what I mean? Like, it's not really an excuse in my mind. Um, a lot of libs have cognitive dissonance when it comes to Israel, yeah. Biden just tweeted Eid Mubarak as Palestinians are getting vaporized, yeah. Biden's trash. But the Secretary of State, what's his name? He is like the most pro, openly pro Israel Secretary of State the Dems have had probably ever. The stuff he said before he took office is just like crazy. He said he's proud of standing with Israel when they're accused of war crimes by the UN. Um. So I'm reading some more stuff. Um, wait, what has Hannah Bryce? What has Hannah Cranston said about it? I thought didn't she used to work for TYT? Uh, Dave Rubin and Barry Barry Weiss's takes are awful. Like I've read both of them, but they're both sellouts. So <laughs> even a more unlike Jimmy Dore has spoken about it. Yeah, I, I actually I was wondering what. Jimmy Dore would say about it. Like, he's such a, like, loose cannon. Um, I mean, like, yeah. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. Jimmy Dore is talking about it. <laughs> I can't hold that against him. Oh. Sorry, the chat back up. Uh, reading some more comments. Um, silence speaks volumes. Yep, deafening. Exactly. That's that is exactly my point. People, people were saying earlier, it's like, oh, like we don't all have to talk about it. like. But if if this is your career, you have to say something. Um, so sorry, I'm reading some more stuff. His videos before one million subs were not as safe. Yeah, I guess not, com compared to what he's doing now. Okay, Patman spoke about Israel with destiny. <laughs> I'm sure that was a great conversation vintage. Um, so I'm just, my comments have come up a bit like, okay, up to Cyrus. Um, okay, Jimmy Dore. Read that one. Um, Nathan's saying, Pac-Man is a coward. He knows he'll get dunked on if he expresses his views. Yeah, probably. Um, he's very business-oriented. Karl Kalinske's better than Pac-Man. Um, do you think it'd be difficult for him talking the issue? The thing is, you can't both sides what's going on right now. Like, you can condemn what Hamas are doing, but you can't both sides what is happening. Do you know what I mean? You can't act like they're equal. Um, read some more stuff. Yeah, but Jack, it's pretty clear his views are problematic 
on Israel, but not in the way like maybe his audience would care about. I uh, read some more stuff. <laughs> no Vosh fans here. Oh, here's a question for the chat since you guys know about Twitch streamers more than me. Do you guys know who Mike from PA is? I'm going on his live stream on Tuesday to talk about America, no, talk about British politics. Um, but I didn't know who he was when 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 uh, somebody who worked for him reached out to ask me to come on. I'm going to go on anyway, just because I think it's a good opportunity to like educate people about British politics. But do you guys know who he is? Uh, Ramit saying, what's the biggest cause of anti-Semitism among non-Palestinian Muslims? Yeah, Ramit, it, it's pretty much exactly that. It's just like, like, um, it, it, the thing is, m Muslim, modern Muslim anti-Semitism and modern leftist anti-Semitism really just comes from the issue of Israel. Sometimes it can come from like anti-capitalism gone weird, like about you know about banks and Rothschilds and shit like that. Um, whereas right-wing anti-Semitism is usually about anti-communism and Judeo-Bolshevism and shit. Um, so read some more stuff. Sorry, my chat keeps going down. The Israel situation. The th here's the thing that annoys me. Like I said earlier, there, there are like you guys can name some streamers in the chat. Actually, name some streamers in the chat. Um, last summer uh, and continuing throughout 2020, many game streamers, many um, just general streamers who are not political, did loads of live streams where they raised money for Black Lives Matter or Black charities or charities for minorities. And all these people that I know of who did this haven't, I've said this earlier in the chat, haven't said anything about what's going on right now. In the chat, put put some streamers that you've noticed who ha who were very vocal about what went, went on last year, about Black Lives Matter, who maybe did charity streams. And that's all well and good. But it's funny that they're so willing to be so vocal. And then maybe it shows the hollowness of, of being a liberal as you can be so vocal in your anti-racism in your own country, where it's seen as you know pretty politically acceptable on the you know the left liberal centrist side of things, but you can't bring yourself to be anti-racist and anti-imperialist when it comes to other issues like be it Kashmir, be it Palestine, be it like is it um, is it Western Sahara, which is Morocco occupying and stuff, and yeah, let me know if you have any ha have any ideas and read some more. Read some more stuff. Carl Kalinske, I mean, he's fine. He helped me get my monetization back, which was good. <laughs> I don't really watch him, though. Um, yeah, Biden supports the fraud in Venezuela. Vintage saying, Mike from PA is good. Um, Nathan's heard of him. Yep, you guys know he's based. I know him. He's an absolute loser. Says <laughs> Goblin with a keyboard. He's on Majority Report a lot. Uh, he's trash. What did I walk into? Uh, Mike from PA randomly attacks leftists who don't fit his worldviews. Kind of nuts. He's a regular caller to the Majority Report. He's pretty cringe, but he's more right than his critics give him credit for. Um, so read some more stuff. Uh... No man, I work nights. <laughs> Mike from PA is nuts. Um, he's just bad at hand the internet drama. Brent says he's a grifter. Didn't he and Valsh have a debate and it was a shit show? Valsh dunked on him. Dex saying, I typically find e Emma uh, Vigiland pretty mild, but her tweet on both sides in the issue. Yeah, I think she's quite good about the Palestinian stuff though. Um. Oh. Let's keep it civil in the chat a bit more. <laughs> now the thing is, just with the chat, I don't mind people saying stuff. I just don't want to get my account banned for allowing stuff. Um. 
I try avoiding Twitch streamers. Yeah, I don't watch Twitch, Twitch streamers. Um, it'd be okay if Mike was in a total nutcase in debates. Um, yeah, well, I'm, I'm going to go on it anyway because, um, like, I think there's a, a massive ignorance of British politics because, to my knowledge, there isn't any major British political Twitch streamers or YouTubers. I wouldn't... I mean, who's a bigger British leftist um, political YouTuber than me? There's, there's bound to be someone. Um, I think most American libs have no idea what's going on going on outside the US, maybe. Or they just don't know, and hence why they keep their mouth shut, maybe. You, Pac-Man, Hassan, and Kyle are my favourites. Thanks a lot, Spooky Kitty. Um, H3 ain't going to say shit. Didn't his wife serve in the IDF? Um, or am I making that up? Um, so read some more stuff. Yeah, Rational National is based. Yeah, I like David. Uh, Rational National and Humanist. Yeah, both good. Um, Chad Logic. Uh, no. Isn't that the guy who, who was exposed as a nonce? <laughs> um... Philosophy Tube, I mean, yeah, I guess so. The H-Bomber guy is more like, these guys are more like, uh, less strictly political. I guess Sean, okay, Sean, I guess maybe. Um, Russell Brand, is it, do we consider him a YouTuber? Kevin Logan is a math massive liberal. Uh, I don't watch Kevin Logan. Um, but we follow each other on YouTube but he doesn't follow me on Twitter, but he likes some of my tweets. It's weird. <laughs> um, Sargon of a card is the bigger. Yeah. <laughs> Does he really count? Um, Amazing, A Amazing Atheist isn't British, though. So. Navarra Media is British, but that's like an organization. It's not one person. Um, all right. So let me go on my own videos. Oh, not this one. I want to go on... I want to go on my one from yesterday. Um, so yeah, thanks for the support on this one. It's done really well. Um, basically what happened is I got loads of fucking hardcore Israeli nationalists and also Indian nationalists. And I've made a video about this, and it's been getting a bit more views lately because of all this stuff. It's about basically India's alliance with Israel and why far-right Indians love is Israel. So, um, basically, I can't read too much stuff because um, I've banned most of the people who've been tweeting pro-Israeli stuff. Um... But, yeah, most people were saying... Someone was trying to... Actually, I'll go on my Twitter to find it, actually, because I posted it. Um, Matthew, wasn't the person just lying about their age, I thought? But I think... Actually, no. Matthew, I remember it now. I watched it. The person was lying about their age, but then I sort of came away from it thinking... Because uh, he said in, in the explanation that he knew the person could have been 18... And they turn out to be 17. But then I didn't realise he's 33. And that's probably why I have a bad impression of him still. Because although that's not like illegal, it's like kind of fucked up, I guess. But I don't really know. I could be wrong. Um... Yeah, let's go. On, let's go on the Indian video actually, because you'll see all the comments. I I try and ban most of the nationalists on my channel, because they do love to swarm and then just comment on everything. Um, so I've been getting oh look how angry I am. <laughs> I've been getting more comments lately. So let's have a look. Um, can you guys see this? I'm gonna zoom in a bit. Um. So half baked knowledge get well soon. I'm getting so much of this shit. Um, so um, this is not far. This is not far right. Hindu can't be far right. 
it not in our nature, but we will fight back to protect our women and their women's too. Our culture are they have destroyed sixty thousand major Hindu temple. Um, always we always fight with Islamic fundamentalism. We will fight against uh, evil. How can Hindus not be far right? I don't understand. RSS is not militant. This man read from internet media all wrong. Um, Fets our group of scientists business engineer doctor professor politician how come you could speak i wish they were a militant group but they are not they are a militant group um by the way they have muslim wing too um so typical left spreading fear every time people try to fight for equality yep because that's what hindu fascists do um so reasons why hindus love jews is because we both face persecution by religion of peace like when did the hindus like i don't know like 500 years ago uh, and Israel helped us in 1999 war, and we, we are bros. <laughs> um, nice way of begging, dude. We love Israel because India can learn a lot how to destroy Islamic terrorism. I basically said all this shit in the video that they both think like their situations are comparable. Um, here we have some communist pseudo liberal barking about Hindu fascism. Yeah, we are coming, boy, and you're next to be conquered. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, so just, I get, just get loads of crap. This is what happens when you make a video, right? Um, the start of it, you get a load of, like, support from, like, uh, your fans and, like, people who like your content. But then as it gets older, I made this in November, as it gets older, like, see all the top comments are mainly, um, people who are, like, agreeing with me, mostly. Um, but then if you look at the new comments, it's all just people who found it later. It's quite funny. Um, but yeah, like then we had this video as well, which is pretty timely. But I included parts of it in, in this one yesterday about like um, these guys driving the US foreign policy agenda under Trump who believed in literal like Armageddon and shit like that. It's actually insane. And I mentioned it at the end of this video yesterday. Um but yeah, like, uh, the liberal silence on stuff like this is really depressing because the things, what gets me with liberals is liberals can understand nuance. Uh, liberal, actually, liberals understand nuance to the point that they think everything is very nuanced on both sides and the adults understand and, you know, don't rush into siding with someone. Um, and what annoys me about liberals, a lot of liberals have good education and in terms of, like, social beliefs, it's kind of, like, okay and stuff. The main problem with liberals is they don't support the economic policies to liberate people. And the one big thing with liberals is in terms of foreign policy, a lot of them love to uphold, you know, the status quo, the military stuff. And they back the US military, the UK military and, and everything like that. So that's the main problem with like liberals in, in that reg regard. But why it's frustrating is it's like it's not like right wingers who are completely indoctrinated and pretty much stupid and they have these takes because they're so uninformed that's why liberals are more annoying because it's like i can agree with them on certain things but then they're so disappointing like like i said why are so many people silent on this stuff right now it's just it's just like so awful and it's like I, i'm gonna go to my twitter what i said today because this is how i'm feeling uh this is why people like patman piss me off um so the world is just so fucked right now. Being woke is not fun. It's just constantly watching shitty events happen and realising more and more there's nothing you can do to stop it from happening. But you can't turn your brain off from it. That's what I realised as I got older. When you're younger, you're optimistic. Like, I'm going to get involved in politics and, like, I can vote out the people who are bad and I can maybe even become a politician myself and do good. And it's like, no, it's literally, like, the powerful just control what's going on. And when you have, like... The statement from Biden was fucking sickening because it's like... You wonder why the Israelis um, can get away with all this shit. It's because of people like Biden. People who pretend they care about, like, human rights and stuff. But in, in, encourage and embolden these groups. Who know, because of the relationship they have with people like Biden, there is no consequences for this stuff. And it's just, it's, it's just very, very depressing. And the only good thing, and I said this yesterday as well... And I 100% believe it. And I'm, did I, maybe I said it on Tuesday. I've been tweeting a lot lately. <laughs> um, see if I can find it. Basically, I said it feels like a turning point a tiny bit. Uh, sorry, 
Where did I write it? Um, oh, it must have been before my... Okay. Um, so one thing I can say about the blowback to Israel's actions is that I have never, in my years following politics, seen such a widespread condemnation in the West for their actions. Maybe social media is amplifying what existed before, but it definitely makes me helpful. Like I've been on Twitter for like 10 years about, and I remember like the 2014 war with Gaza. Um, and even like the stuff of Jeremy Corbyn and how they said, you know, he hates Jewish people and stuff before the 2019 election because of his criticisms of Israel and his, his stance to the Palestinians. I feel like that couldn't even fly now because what I was talking to, I was talking to my dad about this just before um, I came onto the stream. I was saying to him, like, people don't really realize if you grow up like our age in the 1990s, there was an approach from the West, which was more like, we're not going to try and overtly favor Israel over the Palestinians because we want to make peace. We want the two state solution, right? Bill Clinton is an administration. They had this optimism, um, this, you know, neoliberal optimism that we're going to solve everything. Uh, we're going to solve Israel, Palestine. We're going to solve the stuff in, in the breakup of Yugoslavia. We're going to, you know, march the world on, you know, the, the cold war is over. Let's, let's solve all the issues. And then with, uh, things like nine 11 and, and remember Arafat and the PLO, sent their sympathies to the Americans on 9-11. So it's like a great tragedy and stuff. Um, and then it, and then it's just like with Netanyahu, with the, and you know, I, I talked about my video yesterday, like ha Hamas is an offshoot of the Muslim Brotherhood. Muslim Brotherhood um, traditionally works with the poor, works in communities, like, you know, helps, helps poor, you know, helps feed the poor. And traditionally also in Egypt, work with trade unionists, works with workers, right? Really embed themselves in the community to get support. And the Israelis helped fund this and nurture it so they could divide and conquer the Palestinians between the secularists and the Islamists. And then after that, Hamas win the election in, I think, 2006, and then they win the, the little civil war in Gaza afterwards. And then you have these, these guys who they're just not going to back down. And it's just like... And, and it's a response, in my mind, to people like Netanyahu and, and Netanyahu being emboldened and, and people like him by first George Bush and the evangelical Christians in his government, and then Donald Trump. And I think the worst part of Donald Trump's legacy, apart from his general legacy on global politics in terms of the lies, disinformation, the popularism, and all that stuff, which is, I think it's really affected the UK. I think his worst legacy is this stuff, because he's totally emboldened the Israelis. And, you know, do you remember that stuff about Iran, where um, it's like an Iranian boat, got like blown up or something and we all didn't know who did it and, and all this shit like that all this Israeli aggression and, and I feel like there's no going back like there's no going back to how it was 20 years ago because the Palestinians both don't want it well the Palestinians and the Israelis both don't want this stuff because they've been so polarized by all the conflict in the region because of people like George Bush and Donald Trump and it's just like a sad state of affairs where maybe 25 years ago you could see a path to peace and, you know, not perfect, but um, um, a way that Palestine would be recognised internationally as a state and wouldn't lead, live, you know, Palestinians live their lives under Israeli oppression and stuff. And now what we have is just two sides who basically are never going to get along now. And it's just really depressing. Like, how, how does this end? How does this end? What, you, just, you just let far-right Israelis do what they want to the region. Is that how it ends? Is that how much Biden and the administration are going to sell their soul? Um, for US foreign policy, basically. Okay, I'm going to get some chats up. Oh, God, this stuff winds me up talking about it. Like, I'm <laughs> going to log off and place uh, the Assassin's Creed Island DLC <laughs> um, in like 15 minutes or so. Um, so I'm going to read some more comments. Um, let's see what we got here. I don't want top chat, I want live chat. I'm going up, 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 up. All right, there's where we went. One sec. <laughs> Done now. Um, Chad being 33 
Yeah, that's the weird part. <laughs> um, comments, comments, comments. Um, Ethan saying he said could be, but he said to her he wasn't even comfortable flirting with an 18. Okay. Maybe I should really watch it again. Um, so... <laughs> Sounds like Modi is hiring call cool centre workers. Uh, Camp, have I ever done a video about shoe on head? Yes, I have. Uh, basically talking about her versus Lauren Southern. And it was when Lauren Southern came out and said, oh, I'm not a far-right nationalist anymore. I'm like a liberal. And then it's comparing it to shoe on head. And basically, I don't think shoe on head's perfect and stuff. But it's good that someone with a massive platform is being more woke. Although I still think they have like quite problematic takes on some stuff. We follow each other on Twitter, like full disclosure. <laughs> um, but like, you know, for for uh, we talk a lot on this channel about anti SJWs, right? And if Jeremy Griggs from Geeks and Gamers became like uh, like a left wing type liberal. Um, I obviously wouldn't forgive him for the damage he's done, so I don't begrudge anyone who won't forgive people like Sean Head. But at the same time, I would obviously prefer him to use his platform to spread uh, like progressive politics than spread far right politics. Um, Modi trolls. <laughs> The, the Chinese versus Indian stuff is really funny. Oh, oh also, who would win in a fight, right? Because these guys seem the most fanatical. Um, Turkish nationalists, Indian nationalists, or Israeli nationalists? Who would win on, on a, in, a, in a Twitter argument? Because <laughs> these are like the most fanatical like nationalist people on Twitter. Um... um Jack, I, I don't... I don't think that's an intentional function of capitalism, but you're totally right. Like, um, obviously I quit my job just before the end of last year. Um, and it was such a struggle to, um, to put out two videos a week on top of my life. Um, especially like the massive commute to London and stuff. Um, and obviously for a lot of people, the last thing, you, like I love this stuff. So I'm always going to read about it. I'm always going to follow it. Um, but to a lot of people who don't love this stuff and maybe you have a shitty job and a shitty life the last thing you want to do is come watch horrible videos of, of death on your Twitter feed when you get home so it's definitely like a side effect of it Red Leader there's so many people like that I went to university with Red Leader says liberals receive formal education for degrees but are fundamentally uninterested in learning they're so fucking incurious yeah, so many people at my university classes were like this like People who wouldn't even fucking show up most of the time. And, like, I'm like, why are you here? Like, seriously, why are you, why are you even doing this? Um, and then, like, you, where you're someone who's really passionate about it. And what happens is, in some seminar classes, it's literally, like, out of 12 people, it's you and one other person talking the whole time. <laughs> that, and everyone else is, like, sitting there, like, hungover or just, like, can't be bothered or too scared to talk about anything. Um, so I'm reading some more comments. Ethan, how so? My anger at liberals and explanation for it can be applied to... Uh, what what part of my explanation? I don't remember what part you would have been commenting on. Uh, loved your Gal Gadot, Natalie Portman video. Thanks so much. Yeah, it did pretty well. I, <laughs> I have two more sponsored videos. I probably should have sponsored that one because the views are good. Um... The problem is uh, I didn't want people messaging the sponsor. Uh, like, you know, these Israeli nationalists can be like saying, oh, like, you sponsor racism or you sponsor terrorism or some shit like that. No, basically, Red Leader, I talked about Portman being like anti-BDS and being like pro-Israel, but just that she was better than Gal Gadot because she said like, the Israeli state law was racist and other stuff like that. But I did criticise her as well. Uh, sorry, I'm reading some more comments. Um...
liberal shilling for the... F it's not even shilling, it's just people who won't say anything. Like, they can't even bring themselves to condemn Netanyahu. Um... <laughs> Bad empanada dog part on Twitter because he said most Indian expats are fascists. What the hell? The thing is, like, I'm in the UK. Like, we have a you know really significant Indian population and like Indian representation in our governments and parliaments. Um, I'm friends with a lot of Indian people. Um, I would say like there's obviously like the Modi faction and stuff. A lot of Indians don't really give a shit about Indian politics. A lot of English Indians. Um, my Indian friends like don't even follow it even though they're from the same state as Modi and stuff. Um, a lot of them fucking hate him. So, yeah. <laughs> Bad Empanar just sounds like someone who hasn't actually met many Indian expats because, yeah, a lot of my friends are Indian expats and all from Indian expat families and shit. So, like, yeah, not true. And also, like, India is so fucking diverse. Like, I have, like, some Hindu friends from school. Um, my best friend who's an Indian is, is Jain, which is, like, an offshoot of, like, Hinduism from Gujarat. And then I got another friend. We're not really friends anymore, but it, it like Sikhs and stuff. Um, so yeah, that's that's. <laughs> to ban Panada just exists on Twitter to piss people off. I think. I think he does it on purpose though. Is she a leftist? Uh, no, I wouldn't say leftist. Left, li liberal with more left leaning takes. I guess. Uh, you're a good man. Keep going. Thank you, Jacob. Um, The Turkish grey wolves are fucking crazy. My money's on them. I need I need to make a video on them, to be honest. Um, Turkish. Uh... <laughs> I saw a BJP propaganda video that portrayed... Nathan, you've got, to, you've got to link me that on something. That could be a good video. The, <laughs> the meme war between China and, and uh, India on... on India-Pakistan is always funny on Twitter. Um... Um, Turkish or Israeli trolls are the worst. They, uh, they're more prominent, I guess. How do I feel about the prequels? I like the prequels. Um, Bad Batch is good. Who's been watching Bad Batch? Uh, I just started. I just started F Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I watched two episodes. Don't spoil it. I love how the bad guys are like anarchists, leftists, and stuff. <laughs> uh, and the one comment is like that soldier's like, yeah, they're through like a world without borders, so you can see why people would be into that shit. <laughs> Um, so um, Ethan saying uh, just on how people you think are educated and can agree with but have some strong disagreements um, oh Ethan yeah I, I agree with that but I think to be left wing you have to be anti-capitalist uh, and I think if you were, if you were generally educated even if you're like well off or whatever, you can see how capitalism is even you know even and is both destroying the planet and and destroying a lot of lives uh, even in Western society, let alone uh, outside of the West. Um, reading some more stuff. Oh yeah, bad empanadas. I'm not saying his videos are trolling. I'm saying on Twitter, it just seems like he's. Trying to piss people off. Jainism is fascinating. One thing I find curious is Jain's a super aesthetic, aesthetic, but nowadays Jains are known for being relatively quite wealthy. Um, libs couldn't be in, make liberal, liberal could be independent. Oh, not many greens are lib. Yeah, Peter Coffin used to follow me, um, and then he didn't. <laughs> I don't know what I must have tweeted to piss him off. Um, yeah, the stuff he was saying about AOC uh, really turned me off him. Not not politically, just about the January sixth stuff. It was just like really unempathetic. And I think he unfollowed me because I said, um, when AOC was describing her experience, I said, anyone who's been in like a violent event, and, and like I, I said basically, because AOC said a lot of her past trauma came back up during that event. And I basically said, uh, like subtweeted him saying, didn't tweet at him, but tweeted saying, people who are saying she's faking this are disgusting. Like as someone myself who's been assaulted multiple times um, in my life, when you think it's going to happen again, and when it does happen again, uh, after it's happened the first time, you have that moment where it all comes back, and you're like, oh shit, I'm about to get fucked up right now. 
and your stomach drops and like it goes all quick and stuff and i and that's just you know from what i and her saying it's coming back to me and then peter coffin was saying some shit like this is like bullshit or like trying to get sympathy then yeah really nasty take to be honest uh bad batch is good so far yeah i really like bad batch uh all right five more minutes we'll go for no us won't get involved militarily what will happen probably if it's a fallout war um uh, last for about a week israel will probably have a peace truce settled by like under some other countries that's what normally happens it don't never last that long a couple weeks tops um yeah play out that basically that's what i was saying <laughs> you called out a right wing star wars youtube channel on discord and they banned me let's show you the state of the fandom at the moment uh Um, Ethan saying, "Don't worry, the Falcon, the Winter Soldier is pretty based. It's more anti-extremist, anti-radical ideas." Okay, that's good. Uh, David Batman made a four-minute video today about there's going to be a third, about there is going to be a third party, which complete BS, and half the video was advertising. Oh, okay, <laughs> why well, he can't bring himself to say anything about Palestine? Okay, what did he say about it? Uh, Ty Two is progressive, yeah. Thanks for being on the right side of this issue. No problem. Um, I haven't watched David Patman in a long time. He's not good. Too much of an establishment apologist. I mean, has to speak out against what Israel's doing. Yeah, exactly, Nico. I agree. Um, what video has he just released? One sec. David Oakman. <laughs> That's what he's going to come back as when he gets cancelled by me. Is it this one? That's really something. What should I say? Um, biggest escalation of tensions in Israel and Gaza since 2014. But the news YouTuber who puts out multiple videos every day can't even mention it and cannot even bring himself to tweet about it very on brand for a liberal <laughs> make it a bit more scathing Damn, is this, is this his own audience? Because this can't just be like some trolls or something. So what does he talk for an hour about? This is pretty crazy. I'm probably going to have to finish this up. What a lib. What a lib. What a lib. <laughs> uh... Um, Masan, he also liked Andrew Yang's tweet. I always wanted to see a debate between Pac-Man and Brooks and Israel. Yeah, that would have been cool. Um, the one thing I will say, having the squad in Congress is really good, especially Rashida Tlaib and Ilhan Omar. Like, they are literally saying stuff I've never heard um, from British or... Maybe not British, from American politicians, I'll say. See you later, Ethan.
Yeah, Patman said the Bolivian coup wasn't a coup. <laughs> um, it's back. Don't think they're the same. Okay, um, just because people in my house are asleep, I've kind of got to go now. Um, what I will say is, yeah, thank, thanks uh, a lot for the support on the recent video and this stuff. Um, obviously, yeah, y if you want to see my position on Israel in general, check out the stream from Tuesday. It's archived on my second channel, The Cabernacle Extra. I talk about this stuff for like an hour and a half, maybe two hours. Um, watch my video from yesterday. I know it seems like it's about Natalie Portman and Gal, Good, you know, Gal Gadot and stuff. Um... But you guys will know me by now that I kind of just use that stuff to slip in my own opinions. <laughs> so um, go watch that stuff if you want some more talk on Israel. Um, next week, I'm going to be same as usual. Monday, Wednesday and Friday, there'll be new videos. Um, and on Tuesday, I'm going on Mike from PA Twitch stream at 5 p.m. British time, 12 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, I'm going to ask him if I can upload it on my own YouTube channel, so I'll probably upload that at the weekend. I'm also going on someone else's channel on Thursday, a uh, really small YouTuber who just wants to interview me. <laughs> so um, so go on that, and I'll promote that. Also, my community tab right now, I've promoted a video between me and a channel called Bite Marks about the politics of Call of Duty. We talked about like, a, we talked for an hour about the politics of Call of Duty, so if you're interested in me talking about that stuff, go into my community tab after this after the stream and you can watch that me and uh, emilio um and for a teaser for tomorrow we'll end with this <laughs> so um i have been watching jenk and sam harris's six-year-old debate <laughs> and um i have made many many notes so tomorrow basically i'll show you quick so tomorrow basically what we're going to do is um I start like there and then it's like to that. <laughs> so basically um, what we're going to do is uh, talk about this stuff six years later and maybe Jenk was more right than Sam Harris. Ooh. <laughs> um, I just thought it would be interesting to see this stuff six years later. So yeah. That's tomorrow's video, hopefully. I'm going to have to wake up early. I'm going to have to watch more of it, make more notes, and then it's going to take a fucking load of time to edit, I reckon. <laughs> um, what type of cake do I like? Uh, any cake, really. Chocolate cake's good. Um, okay. Um, base opinion, Kevin Ackle. Thanks. Um, okay, that's it for the, the stream. Uh, see you guys next week. I'll probably still stream after the mic stuff. Um, and yeah, just watch the video tomorrow. Watch my other stuff you know whatever thanks for donations people who donated appreciate everyone joining the chat sorry this has to be cut a bit short uh longer stream maybe on tuesday or something everyone have a good weekend as well and thank you for watching as usual